केशर की कली की पिचकारी पात पात की गात सवारी राग पराग कपोल किए हैं लाल गुलाल अमोल लिए हैं तरु तरु के तन खोल दिए हैं आरती जोत उदोत उतारी गंध पवन की धूप धवारी गाए खग कुल कंठ गीत शत संग मृदंग तरंग तीर हत निराला जी की ये कविता होली की याद दिलाती है नमस्कार अ न्यू पोस्ट का नजर आएगा is a popular hindu festival also known as the festival of love festival of colors and festival of spring the festival celebrates the eternal and divine love of radha and krishna it also signifies the triumph of good over evil as it celebrates the victory of vishnu as narasimha narayan over hiranyakashipu falling in the hindu month of phalgun holi also marks the agricultural season of the rabi crop holi celebrates the end of winter the blossoming of love and for many it is a festive day to meet others play and laugh forget and forgive and repair broken relationships the first evening is known as holika dahan or burning of the demon holika or choti holi and the following day is holi also called dol purnima dhuleti dhulandi and many many names During Holika Dahan people perform religious rituals in front of a bonfire and pray that their internal evil be destroyed the way Holika the sister of the demon king Hiranyakashyap was killed in the fire the next morning is celebrated as Rangwali Holi Dhuleti a free for all festival of colors where people smear each other with colors and drench each other water guns and water filled balloons are also used to play and color each other Anyone and everyone is fair game. Friend or stranger, rich or poor, man or woman, children and elders. Legend says that Holi is celebrated as a festival of triumph of good over evil in the honor of God Vishnu and his devotee Prahlad. King Hiranyakashipu, father of Prahlad, according to a legend found in chapter 7 of Bhagavad Purana, was the king of demonic asuras and had earned a boon that gave him five special powers he could be killed by neither a human being nor an animal neither indoors nor outdoors neither in the day nor at night neither by astra nor by shastra and neither on land nor in water or air hiranyakashipu grew arrogant thought he was god and demanded that everyone should worship him Hiranyakashipu's own son Prahlad however disagreed he was and remained devoted to Vishnu this infuriated Hiranyakashipu he subjected Prahlad to cruel punishments none of which affected the boy or his resolve to do what he thought was right finally Holika Prahlad's evil aunt tricked him into sitting on a pyre with her Holika was wearing a cloak that made her immune to injury from fire while Prahlad was not as the fire roared the cloak from holika went and encased prahlad and holika was burnt vishnu the god who appears as an avatar to restore dharma in hindu beliefs took the form of narsimha half human and half lion which is neither a human nor an animal at dusk when it was neither day or night took hiranyakashipu at a door step which was neither indoors nor outdoors placed him on his lap which was neither land water nor air and then eviscerated and killed the king with his lion claws which were neither a handheld weapon nor a launched weapon so that is the story behind it if you have forgotten holi is of particular significance in the braj region which includes locations traditionally associated with krishna mathura vrindavan nandgaon uh, and barsana in uttar pradesh which become touristic during the season of holi Mathura in the Braj region is the birthplace of Krishna known for his ras leela with Radha and the gopis. In Vrindavan this day is celebrated with special puja and the traditional custom of worshiping Radha Krishna for 16 days. Outside Braj in the Kanpur area Holi lasts 7 days with color on the last day a grand fair called Ganga Mela or the Holi Mela is celebrated on various ghats along the river Ganga. In Gorakhpur the northeast district of Uttar Pradesh the day of Holi starts with special puja this day called Holi Milan is considered to be the most colorful day of the year promoting brotherhood among the people 
people visit every house and sing holy songs and express their gratitude by applying colored powder or a bead on each other. In Goa, Holi is locally called Ukuli in Konkani. It is celebrated around the Konkani temple called Gosripuram temple. It is a part of the Goan or Konkani spring festival known as Sigmo or in Konkani Siserotsa, which lasts for about a month. A traditional celebration including Matki for similar to Dahi Handi in Maharashtra and Gujarat during Krishna Janmashtami both in the memory of God Krishna who is also called Makhanjur, literally Badati. This is a historic tradition of the Braj region as well as the western region of India. Dwarka, a coastal city of Gujarat celebrates Holi at the Dwarka Dish temple and with city-wide comedy and music festivals. In Maharashtra, Holi Purnima is also celebrated as Shimga, festivities that last 5 to 7 days. In the evening, the fire is lit. Puran Poli is the main delicacy and children shout Holi Re Holi Puranaji Holi. Uttarakhand Kumauni Holi in Uttarakhand includes a musical affair. It takes different forms such as the Bejiki Holi, the Khari Holi and the Mahila Holi. In Bejiki Holi and Khari Holi, people sing songs with a touch of melody, fun and spiritualism. These songs are essentially based on classic ragas. In West Bengal, Holi is known uh, by the name of Dol Jatra or Dol Purnima or the Swing Festival. The festival is celebrated in a dignified manner by placing the icons of Radha and Krishna on an intricately decorated palanquin which is then taken around the main streets of the city or the village. On the Dol Purnima day in the early morning, students mainly in Shanti Niketan dress up in saffron colored clothes or pure white clothes and wear garlands of fragrant flowers. Karnataka. Traditionally in rural Karnataka, children collect money and wood in the weeks prior to Holi and on Kama Dehana night, all the wood is put together and lit. Manipuris celebrate Holi for six days. Here, this holiday merges with the festival of Yausang. Traditionally, the festival commences with the burning of a thatched hut of hay and twigs. Young children go from house to house to collect money, locally known as Nakadeng or Nakateng, as gifts on the first two days. The youth at night perform a group folk dance called Thabal Chongba on the full moon night of Lamta, Falkut. Traditionally accompanied by folk songs and rhythmic beats of indigenous drums. The spring season during which the weather changes is believed to cause viral fever and cold. The playful throwing of natural colored powders called gulal has a medicinal significance. The colors were traditionally made of neem, kumkum, haldi, bilva and other medicinal herbs suggested by Ayurveda. Some of the traditional natural plant-based sources of colors were, let me spell out a few, orange and red, the flowers of palash or tesu tree, also called the flame of the forest, were typical sources of bright red and deep orange colors. Powdered fragrant red sandalwood, dried hibiscus flowers, madder tree, radish and pomegranate are alternate sources and shades of red. Orange uh, was made by mixing lime with turmeric powder or boiling saffron in kesar in water. Green, mehendi and dried leaves of gulmohar tree. In some areas, the leaves of spring crops and herbs have been used as a source of green pigment. Yellow, haldi or turmeric powder is mixed with chickpea or gram flour, bale fruit, amalta, species of chrysanthemums and species of marigold. Blue indigo plant, Indian berries, species of grapes, blue hibiscus and jacaranda flowers. Magenta and purple, beef fruit was often directly boiled in water to prepare coloured water. Brown dried tea leaves offer a source of brown coloured water. Certain clays are alternate source of brown. Black species of grapes, fruits of amla or gooseberry which is dried and vegetable carbon charcoal was used to create black color. So let's try and go back to these traditional organic colors and celebrate Holi with Gatsu. Namaskar and Happy Holi to all of you.